been following up with your with your GK program, so I said, let me reach out to you and get to know how the program is going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I have time wow. to work with the the program of GK Marks. Yes, I'm just focusing okay. on the goalkeeping aspect for now. Okay. Okay. So the GK Marks is just about goalkeepers for now. Yeah. It's about goalkeepers. Okay. And we're planning to have actually um, sooner when when the goalkeeping aspect is stabilized, then we will try to I'll try to have a program as well with a specialization on strikers and defenders as well. Because you know those okay. those two aspects of football as well areas of football are very important for goalkeeping. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's good. It's it's good. It can, it, that, uh, having a specialized training with strikers and uh, defenders, it can work with uh, the goalkeeping specialization as well. I think that's the only, one, um, the only center in the Philippines that uh, <laughs> training just the goalkeepers. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's mostly it's, it's a specialization because um, I think um, there are a lot of academies already. Yeah, it's mostly it's yeah. general and one aspect, one area we're in uh, is missing is the goalkeeping, um, goalkeeping, yeah. goalkeeping of, of, of of academy. There are academies that they have like goalkeeper coaches, but it's specifically for goalkeeping, giving them um, plenty of time to work with goalkeeping. There's no such um, um, program, not unless they do one-on-one -on -one sessions. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm happy to have you today, Coach. Ah, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's really it's a privilege to be your guest. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. In the program today is uh, Coach Noel Makaida. And he's a well-known uh, football coach here in the Philippines. Uh, coach Noel is the director of um, GK Max, training program that specializes in Goalkeeper, uh, goalkeeper's training. Before this, Coach Noel was the head coach of uh, Pachanga, the head coach of um, Kaya Football Club. And I know you guided the uh, you guided the team to Copa Kalino Alcantara Cup. And Kaya won the championship. I think it was a a great achievement. And you also guided the team to runners up position in. 2000 and 2018 and 2019 season. And in 2019-2020, you qualify Kaya for the AFC Cup before yes. you announce your before you announce your resignation. Actually, yeah. coach, it, it's it's not a resignation. I mean, I finished my contract with with Kaya FC. Yeah. Okay, and, you finished um, your contract. Yeah. There is no renewal of the contract, so... Okay. All right. Today, we are not actually going to talk about the Kaya Football Club. We are going to talk about GK Max. Yeah, so sure. I think, uh, yeah. I think it's a very interesting uh, program. That was why I said I really need to talk about that. Um, because just training alone in the, in the academy is not enough. I've seen uh, some goalkeepers that I've worked with training in your program, like Altus, like Eco. Like at Tienza, I see them all training in your program, which I'm always happy when I see them there. So, what is really your motivation? What motivated you to, to start this? Well, actually, I, I look back when I started playing goalkeeper. Yeah, um, I experienced like um, playing in goal without the guidance of a goalkeeper coach. Yeah, I started football at the age of 13. Yeah, straight to goalkeep to to to, to straight to um, be on in between the post, okay, without a goalkeeper coach. And um, until college, I don't have a goalkeeper coach. Okay, so I was thinking, just watching, watching, watching um, festivals, tournaments. There are a lot of potential goalkeepers. You can see lots of young goalkeepers that need guidance of a coach. Yeah, during my time, very few goalkeeper coaches. But I think five years ago and at present, there are already um, lots of goalkeeper coaches. 
lots of goalkeeper coaches that attended licensed courses already, specifically for goalkeeping. So I look back how I started. It's really tough playing um, on a top level without a goalkeeper coach. Okay? Um, I think all goal, young goalkeepers need the guidance from a goalkeeper coach specifically okay, for them to know the, what, is, what is really goalkeeping. Okay? They, they need guidance for a goalkeeper coach to teach them the proper technique, the details of goalkeeping technique how the handling technique goes. Because it's not just purely just catching the ball. Okay? There are um, techniques that has details. And these details must be introduced to young goalkeepers. Yeah, so my motivation towards um, this GK Marks Academy, um, making this GK Marks Academy is, I'm happy watching young kids playing at goal. Okay, very few goalkeepers at the age of nine, eight, seven years old that they wanted to play and goal. Okay, very few before. But now you can see lots of young goalkeepers that are interested to, to be on goal, to play as goalkeeper. Okay, um, yeah. And um, for me, it's 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 go it's 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 sad for me if I don't share my knowledge in goalkeeping. Okay, so I think that's that, that that's just the motivation that I have. I don't want these young talents, young potential goalkeeper talents, to go on a youth stage, go to high school, go to college without having or experiencing a specific goalkeeping training. Okay, so GK Marks is. Um, created okay, to, to give the chance for goalkeepers to have the details of goalkeeping at an early age. Yeah, but okay. there's not much on the nine years old, eight, seven. There's no intense goalkeeping training. Mostly it's, it's just um, making sure that they have fun and always checking in the form. There's not much detail on that as on, on that age category. It's just more of guiding them. It's more of making sure that they're having fun with the, with, the, with, the sport, with the position that they choose and making sure that the form is there. It's very important that at that early, early stage, the goalkeeping form is already established. Yeah, but at that stage, going to modern goalkeeping, we need them to play more on their feet. Okay, we need them to start playing with their feet. Yeah, that's why part of our program, it's not just catching the ball. Okay, mostly when we do warming up, it's, it, we already incorporate playing the ball with the feet, which is very important nowadays. Modern, goal, modern goalkeeping, it's all about how you play, how you play, um, how you play with, with the feet. Okay, if a goalkeeper has that ability playing with his feet, then his defenders and his team will be confident playing the ball back at him. Yeah, if your goalkeeper has that ability, then you can maximize tactical wise. Oh, that's that's really good. I was going to ask you, at what at what age do you recruit uh, these goalkeepers into your program? But well, you just mentioned um, from the U nine or younger than that. Well, actually, I. My, my, in my program, I, I, I had there, I think, from seven years old onwards. Okay. okay. We started to cater seven years old onwards. But there are also goalkeepers, like six years old, that wanted to try okay, and train specific goalkeeping with me. So I still entertain. So the youngest goalkeeper that I have right now is six years old. Six years old. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I could, I've seen a lot of uh, pro, uh, pro goalkeepers appearing in your program, talking to the trainees. And how important is this to have pro goalkeepers talk to the trainees in GK Mark? Well, aside from, actually, aside from, from training goalkeepers in the field, um, introducing pro goalkeepers to these young talents will 
will give them a boost you know so learning goalkeeping it's not just through training it's not just watching videos okay we have this um development can also be through imagery you know yeah. letting them feel to have that discussion with the pro goalkeepers that they idolize somewhat it gives them a boost or a morale booster to really work hard and really um look into um moving i mean looking forward into their future Okay, okay, somewhat they can have, they can, they will know how these pro players able to develop their goalkeeping um, technique at an early young stage. Okay, so somewhat from that idea, they can learn. Okay, but yeah. we can tell that what they experience at an early stage is appropriate for them. Okay, but somewhat it can give them idea on how much they have to focus if they wanted to go farther in goalkeeping yeah yeah so it's it's yeah. it's, it's very important it's very important number one there is it, it can give moral booster for them to continue training goalkeeping okay i was wondering how do you coach a consistency in goalkeeping um like i know sometimes you the goalkeepers get into the goal and then the place so well and then the, the next game and then you you don't know what happened and sometimes it's it's hard to understand what really happened in the mind of a goalkeeper like the last day he yeah, was the hero good. of the team and then the next game he was a zero <laughs> yeah there's 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 always i mean there is always a bad day yeah for goalkeepers okay some like what you've said sometimes he can be hero sometimes he can be cause of the loss of of the defeat of the team yeah? yeah so it shows character for your goalkeeper now at this at at that um, moment goalkeeper coaches should jump in they have to make sure that they motivate goal it's no longer about technique it's no longer about how this goalkeeper perform in your training it's more of a mental development it's more of psychological Okay, so the approach of go. Let's say if it happens, okay, that you that that that, that the previous game your goalkeeper didn't perform well, okay, and he commit mistake. So going yeah. to training again, okay, the first training it's more of like a mental approach to your goalkeeper. It's not yeah. saying about what he committed, but on the other side you have to reciprocate what yeah. you could have done better instead of saying the mistake. I mean, you have to put emphasis on what you could have better and moving on what we have to do. Because yeah? there's no help. Yeah. It won't help to your goalkeeper if you go back to that synapse, that situation. Because for yeah. sure, your goalkeeper knows it. Yeah? So they need yeah. help and they need guidance moving forward on what to improve on. I think that should okay. be the approach there. So it's a matter of, it's okay. about motivation to motivation your players. Okay. And, um, another question, I think this one, we have, not all the coaches and not all the teams that have a goalkeeper coach. And um, we know football sometimes goalkeepers are left alone in the team or in the goalpost. They are left alone in the goalpost. How do you coach a goalkeeper to stay connected with the team when the ball is going on? Maybe the training is going on. How can you involve... I mean, when the game... When the game is going on, how do you how do you how do you coach a goalkeeper to stay connected with the team? Sometimes you are going to attack the goalkeeper is left alone in the uh, on the goalpost. How do you coach him to get involved so that he's not just standing and not doing anything? Well, I mean, goalkeeper has to act a last man sweep, a last man defender, not just goalkeeper, a goalkeeper sweeper. Okay, for for our goalkeeper to be involved in the play whether it's defending or attacking, he should act as a goalkeeper sweeper. Yeah? So what he has yeah. to consider is, he, he, he needs to consider his distance to his goal and his distance to his back line. 
Yeah, it's very important yeah. because if the goalkeeper are just staying very close to his goal, that means that gives big gap from his position going to his defender. If there's a big gap, then your goalkeeper is not involved. Okay, so it has to be balanced. Okay, let's say if, 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 if his teammate has the ball, he has to make sure that he's in the right position for him to ask for, to, 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 to receive a back pass just in case. If yeah. his opponent has the ball and if, let's say, go, um, the team is attacking and the team is already on opponent's half, then yeah. he has to make sure that he can cover that space behind his back line. Okay? It's, it's, yeah. it's for me, as a goalkeeper coach, the first thing that I should do, I, 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 I'm doing to my goalkeeper is I teach them what are their role and responsibility in three main moments. Yeah? If yeah. this goalkeeper knows his, respons his responsibility when he has the ball, and when his teammate has the ball, and when the ball went to opponent, if he knows his responsibility, then surely he's involved, he will involve himself in, in the game. Yeah? I think that's very important. I think that is the aspect we're in very important for goalkeepers to know. What are their roles when they have the ball? When his teammate has the ball, specifically if his defender has the ball, okay? And if the ball went to opponent, okay? What was his role and responsibility? If he knows it, surely he will be involved in the game. I think, I think it's really very important what you just said. If, because if goalkeepers don't know their responsibility, then it's a, it's a big loss for the team. Exactly. As exactly. you said, they are, the last, they are the last man. Yeah. Okay. Um, from the beginning, you mentioned about playing um, football with the feet for your younger yeah. players. How important do you place this on the older age group? Well, it's, 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 it's really important. Okay? Even for a pro, even for a professional team, it is really important to make sure that they have that feeling of the ball playing with their feet. Yeah? Yeah. Actually, most, most of the pro club are doing this. Most of the professional club, their warming up are, we call this 5v2, okay? they go pachanga. Okay? They have 5v2, 3v1, or 6v2. Okay. Yeah. Initially, um, for a start, okay, player goalkeeper should be involved. I wasn't saying should or can be involved in that practice. That can be their warming up already. Okay. Yes. And goalkeepers will have that feeling of their part of the team. Yeah. Because yeah. most of the time watching observing how the team how the the team organized training not just um the pro but also collegiate and high school most of the time you can see goalkeepers are already on goal to start to begin with you're isolating yeah, yeah. goalkeeper yeah so i think yes, the right. isolate the, the isolation goalkeeping training now should be erased okay we do not yeah. isolate goalkeepers to the team so it's better if from the start we can incorporate our goalkeepers and make them feel that they are part of the team. Through what? Through this the, the this five feet two exercises. Yeah, they're part of the team once they join that exercise. Even with the transition drill, five v two to five v two or four v four, four v two to four v two, goalkeeper can still join that. Okay. Yeah. So somewhat yeah. it can hin enhance their playing ability with the feet, and at the same time, fitness-wise, they also improve. Yeah, yeah. dealing pressure, yeah. they can also improve through that exercise. So it's it is it is it is really important. I mean, that is one aspect we're in. Um, very important for goalkeepers now, through because of modern goalkeeping. Goalkeeper are the ones that initiate the attack. Okay, goalkeeper yeah. can yeah. initiate the attack. They can start the attack. 
Okay, so it's very important that this goalkeeper has is is is, is tactically sound when it comes to playing with his feet. All right, so that's uh, that's very important to know. And, um, okay, the ne next question is: um, What do you think are the, the necessary things that a goalkeeper must have to make a jump to professional football? Well, I think for me, number one is mental toughness. Okay, when we say mental toughness, it's more of I mean, it is, it is, it's uh, courage. Goalkeeper must have courage. That's number one. Okay? When we talk about courage, it's mental courage and physical courage. Okay? Because as you go older, going to pro, challenges and pressure are getting higher. Yeah? So if you don't have that courage mentally and physically, you might just give up and you can cope up the demand. Okay? You cannot handle pressure. So if you cannot handle pressure, your performance will be compromised. I think that's very important for me. If you wanted to yep. go to a pro level, that courage is very important. Yeah? Okay. Then if, yeah. You really, if, you, if that is your end goal, you wanted to go pro, then you have to commit yourself. When you commit yourself, then everything is there. Hard work, work will come in. Discipline will come in. Okay? So commitment. Yeah. Next is commitment. You have to commit. If you wanted to go at that level, you have to commit yourself. You have to work hard for it. Yeah? You have yeah. to make an effort of doing everything, every exercises. And the most important thing, for a young goalkeepers, you have to listen to your coach. I think the last uh, I had a, a chat with uh, Jordan Mintz uh, last time. I think that was the same thing he said. That you have to listen and respect your coach. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 very important. Not just at a young stay at a young at a young at a young age. Yeah, even on a pro level, you have to listen to your coach. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Coach, um, what advice would you give to young players that, or coaches that will be listening to this program? Um, for coaches, um, when we talk about Philippine goalkeeping development, it is very important for us to, have, to share our knowledge, share the knowledge to goalkeepers, and at the same time, coaches to coaches. I mean, we have... We have to be open-minded okay, to share what we know and what we can learn from other coaches. Okay? Um, we will improve if we continue learning. Okay? But if we're close-minded, our knowledge will end up here. We will not improve. Okay? So if goalkeeper coaches, if we goalkeeper coaches work together, Okay, I can say that our goalkeeping development will be will go farther. Okay, our, our goal, goalkeeper development will improve. Okay, I think that that is very important. Okay, for for the young goalkeepers that are watching, okay, my advice for you, especially on the young on the very young stage, is as as what Neil and as some of the pro goalkeepers, like Patrick Dato, is saying, keep saying, you have to make you have to to to, to you have to stay, um, you have to make sure that you're having fun, okay? Having fun in every exercises, having fun in every goalkeeping as aspect that you're doing. You have to make sure that you're enjoying it, okay? Because yeah. if you enjoy it, slowly, unconsciously, you're learning, yeah? yeah. But yeah. if you're half-hearted, on the things that you do in goalkeeping training, then the development will be limited. I'm not saying that you will not improve. You will improve, but it's a limited development. Okay? So it's very yeah. important. Um, discipline. Okay, when we say discipline, it's not just 
on the on the on the pitch it's also off the pitch discipline in a sense on what have you been eating regularly okay okay because there's no use of you working hard in training if going off or going out the pitch you're eating um you're eating something that will make you fat or it will make you heavy okay so if you wanted yeah. to really improve then you have to look after for yourself okay yes with this pandemic my advice to young goalkeepers take this opportunity to stay fit okay go for workout um any movement that will make you fit i mean do it okay because if you're fit then time comes that we will going back to training to the pitch and do goalkeeping training if you're not fit for sure your technique will be compromised okay if you're fit then you will have a hard time going back to the technique that you've been doing before the pandemic okay so you have to stay fit fitness is very important for you to perform goalkeeping techniques okay if you easily get tired then you will have that bad technique that's for sure if you're fit then very easy for us to to refine your your technique yeah thank you thank you very much coach i'm really happy and i appreciate that you find it time to be with me today very very much welcome very much welcome it's a pleasure coach lurch thank you very much thank you coach thank you